Ken Griffin, Citadel, Ooh. had the biggest Shout return in hedge fund history, $16 billion. Uh, legendary situation. Absolutely. Citadel, number one hedge fund. Um, talk about that. Number, number two was, uh, well, Ian, go ahead, and then I'll talk about number two. Talk about that. No, I just want to say shout out to JP Morgan, shout out to Citadel, <laughs> Bank of America. I told you, Ken is who y'all think Chapo is. So, like, got his hands into Robin Hood. Amazing. Retail traders want to dominate? Let me get a little piece of that. People want to be in crypto? Let me get a little piece of that and put my hands in there. Market wants to fall apart. Going back to the part two of the Jones lesson, you have to be in flow with the market. Even the, the best time to make the most cash is when there's chaos. There's a reason I kept screaming that Ken is one of those ones. And um, John Paulson's trade was amazing. That was uh, classified as the best trade ever up until this point, but to knock out $16 billion in a down market to produce incredible alpha for clients when most people think that it wasn't possible. I, I can't do nothing but tip my hat off to it. Um, this is a legendary trade, legendary quarter and year for them. That's why I would say follow the money. Outside of the Robin Hood debacle, we didn't hear much from Ken. Now compare that to Kathy Woods of 2020. I love Kathy. I told you about the soon demise, but the best investors, best CEOs that I like the most, once again, are really quiet. Like it's a quiet display of wealth. That headline of 16 billion looks better than whatever proposed returns that Kathy was going to have in 2020. Follow the money. Go look at their portfolio. See the top five things they're invested in. For my traders of the super serious, go reverse engineer everything that they're doing and everything that they traded to see at what levels, what percentages down they were looking to short and buy back long. Kudos to Citadel. Yeah. 16 billion is a record. It's a lot of money. It's a lot. Uh, Ray Dalio was number two at 6 billion. You might have heard of him. Not bad. Heard of him. Shout out Ray. Yeah. yeah. Anything you want to add? I'm to them on I mean, it, I mean, we just got to tip a hat to that. Sixteen billion in a, in 2022, when most people looked at the market as it was a bear market. This is why hedge funds, you know, makes sense. Yeah, mm -hmm. there's a couple of people who did not report though. So I know George Santos. He they didn't have his uh, his his uh, accumulation of wealth for the year. So we'll see where he comes in at. But um. Yeah, sixteen billion. I don't know if it's gonna be sixteen. I don't know if it's gonna be sixteen, like them, but, but it, it could be sixteen. A hell of a number. So we'll see. Not bad. You have to follow the flow. I know sometimes you make investments so hard, but if you see, and that's why I say, even for everyone listening, even if you're not the biggest fan of me, doesn't matter. Yeah. Like if I say, I we see a sector is going to crash, your first thought should be, let me short that sector until I see a reversal point. Yeah. Doesn't mean I don't like the sector. I'm like, just let's make money as it goes down. Great. If it turns around, let's go back up. Even when I said Bitcoin nine grand, like if Bitcoin goes to nine grand. I'm going to put a lot of money in it there because I know a lot of institutions will yeah. buy. If we look at crude, crude went to like a historic low, um, 2020. It went back to the 1986 lows, and then it popped back up to the 50% level, and now it's been sliding back down. Like this opportunity. That's all I would say. There's no such thing as a bad market. Just bad entries into it. Yeah, and, and another thing. Like this is important too, and this is something that um, I take pride in. Is like becoming familiar with these names. So like. Ken Griffin, mm -hmm. Paul Tudor Jones, George uh, Soros. It's important oh. to know these names, Ray Dalio, because you never know when you can be in a situation where you're gonna see them. Like that's one of those things. Like I, I'll Absolutely. look in a room, like I always tap shy, like yo, you, you see who's in the room? He's like, what, who? And I'm like, mm -hmm. that, yo, he's the CEO of JP Morgan. And we just happen to be in a room with him. Like it's important to be familiar with them. I mean, I would argue that if, obviously if like LeBron walked in the room, we would recognize that. If Jason Tatum yes. or, you know, I mean, one of these guys, Greek, obviously, just for the hype. But any of these NBA all-stars, if they walked in the room, we would know it. It would be no question we would know who it was. We don't know who the wealthiest people, some of the wealthiest people in the world are. But and that, they, and, that, and we, could, we could be in the room. So my thing is, like, let's familiarize ourselves with that, too. Let's study it like we study statistics from who's averaging the most points per and game. And it matters way more. That also, that's also by design, too, though, because um, we met a guy. Um, when we met a guy... He's a billionaire, and he told us he's black. He's a black billionaire, and nobody's ever heard of him. And he said, mm -hmm. um, he said, riches, riches, 
Rich is loud, wealth is quiet. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Rich is loud, wealth is quiet. Mm -hmm. What is the benefit of being well known? If you if you up, let's think about this for a minute. If you're up four billion dollars, right? Five billion, fifty billion, one billion. Four hundred million. (laughs) What's the real benefit of being well known? Because the only thing that's going to happen is people are going to start hating on you. Mm-hmm. And then you're going to worry about people trying to come at you. And then the government is going to attack you. And then it's like, you know, it's going relatives and everybody's going to come and you're going to yeah. become a target when you can just walk through Target, the grocery store, Target yeah. by yourself. Mm-hmm. No hassle. It's like, um, is that Dan Cathy? Yeah, but is that well is that well known or famous, right? Because I'm not even saying well known. I'm saying that we should be aware of who they are, especially but, in the investment world. Not and, and I would say the majority of people, especially the people we ran into over the past week, they're probably unfamiliar to a lot of people, right? My thing, I'm not even asking them, hey, you guys should be famous. I'm just saying like we should know that. Like this, for instance, we went into Palantir, and we'll probably talk about them later, right? Would the average person recognize the CEO of Palantir? No, they're not. Right? And he's not trying to be famous, sure. but he's doing something. Yeah. He's, he's doing something and involved and has created a company or is the CEO of a company that can change the way life is on earth, right? And we're not familiar with that. So my thing is like, let's become more familiar with that. Let's get more familiar with the CEOs of some of these companies so that we know what's going on, right? Like it's cool to be entertained, mm-hmm. but it's more impressive to be educated. Is it cool to be entertained though? But that also goes back to, uh, so I don't know if everyone really wants to be rich or we won't. That might be true. I told you, like, the, the biggest PR companies that I know right now are the ones that the wealthy are paying to be out of the press. Can anyone name me four executives at Saudi Aramco right now? You know what I'm saying? It's, it's, Which, if you put all the, here's the it, wait, levels here's to the, it. Here's the truth. Here's the, you, you want the truth or you want, or you want, a, you want the fairy tale? The truth is that. Truth. You're not gonna know these people unless you're in the, unless you're in that space. The average person is not going to spend time. Average person is just trying to pay their bills and trying to just get through the weekend and trying to put their kid through through grammar school. They don't have time to look up hundreds of CEOs and you you learn that. Yes, they you do. Learn that you get face recognition when you're in the space. When you at dinner, when you end cocktail hours, when you, that's when you get that. You you learn, but, but how do they you learn? They LeBron, don't have time to do it, Kyrie. They have, they have the time. time. No, they really don't. What they choose to do is different. They can make the no. time. No, they really don't. Yeah, they do. They really don't. They got time to talk crazy in the comments. Yeah, <laughs> no, they got. They got a question. It's about basketball. what you're doing with the time. It's more than. It's not that I'll we don't. They weekend. don't have the time. I've in the house six years. Yeah, yeah. And grinding six years. And people are like, oh, he tripping that out. Like, yo, you, no one has to agree with my philosophy. One thing no one can ever say is that. I'm not free. Playa, Dubai, Ghana. Yo, you have to make the sacrifice. Knowing what John Morant did against Greek freak, that shit won't matter in two it's days a, it's a, for your life. You, it's a, it's a fish trying to swim up a water off, off a waterfall. It's not, ha- it's not gonna happen. It's not gonna happen because, of course. John Morant, that's in your face. That's publicized. That's on social media. It's on ESPN. It's on. It's there. It's documented. It's right there. It's easy. You don't even have to try to research it to know who John Morant is. He's he's. They can Google who Peter Thiel is. No, I'm just saying a couple of top, couple of top you. CEOs. Mm-hmm. Yeah, of course. But that that you're not gonna know a vast majority of CEOs. You're not. You're not. It's not gonna happen unless you're interested, right? Because you gotta get interested. Yeah. When entertain you trains you, right? That's what they say. It's it's not entertaining. And, and I said it. It's not. L- listen, once you pass eighteen, if you're a man, you need to stop being a fan of other men. That includes me too. You can't be idolizing other men that are doing ish out in the world that you should be doing. No pun intended. My graduates from my school being Forbes backdrop, backdrop, <laughs> <laughs> mic drop, backdrop, backdrop. <laughs>